Hi guys, welcome to episode 4 of the GSX 600 after restoration. Uh, today we're going to be going over how we got the frame from looking like this. In between episodes, I got a few small things done, as you've probably seen from my How to Restore Aluminium video. You know, this little seat catch was put on, but it wasn't recorded, it's nothing major. But I did go over how to clean and prepare these little foot pegs to stop the aluminium corroding again. Little tip there is to clean them down with a scratch brush wheel and put a bit of lacquer on them to stop the aluminium corroding. Got some new stainless steel bolts and washers for the foot pegs down here. So that's all tidied up. As you can see from the back, springs are nicely zinc plated in this little brake pivot point. The rear brake pivot point is nicely zinc plated. And these are the these are the parts that's going to be fitted today. I'm going to I had the rear swing arm done in 2k satin black more zinc plated bolts the shock absorber a little adjuster cup to bottom zinc plated all the bolts zinc plated I painted the spring with a special red I'm going to use for the wheels and just on the shock gold just it's not going to be seen too much just a little bit of contrast colour and again clean the aluminium with the scotch brake wheel and protected it with some lacquer. And some new bearings. So that's going to hopefully be well done this episode so let's get to it. Yes, firstly I'm going to put a little bit of grease on the main swing arm bolt and I'm going to put some blue Loctite on the threads. Next screw on the nut, just going to do it hand tight for the meantime, get these all torqued up later. Next I'm going to install the lower shock pivot. The larger of the two bolts goes in the, the front hole here. It's a little bit tight with the powder coating. But Small bit of persuasion that'll go in. Next we install the two link rods which goes from the pivot point up to the rear arm. So we'll get that tightened up and check back on this then. Now for the rear shock. Just lower the arm a little. Right, next we're going to start, start assembling the steering stem bearings. Got a new seal for the bottom. Put that on first. Got 
it simply slides into place. Next, the bottom race. It's going to have to be head up slightly to try and get it on down in. I'm going to give it a heat up with the heat gun. Once that is hot enough, I'm going to use the same method as in the other video. Put a little slit in the old bearing race and use a pipe which is from my car jack. Just use that to protect the bearing, set the pipe over the top and use that to tap it home. You may need to use some extra spacers. Pipe gets a little tight in the side there. I ended up using a 30mm spanner as the lower spacer, as the 27 28 are just a little too tight, as you can see with the marks there. So we have once we have that hammered the full way down, this one's still a little tight, so get a, a large screwdriver, put it into the little slot, tap it in, spread the old dress out, just simply slide off, spread it out a little more. Here we have it. Another simple tip. If you don't have the special tools, there's always a way. So now we're going to take a bearing itself and pack it full of grease. And so we're going to slide the bearing on. Now we're going to take it over to the frame and get it bolted in with the other bearing race. Right, so let's get this stuck in. Sorry about the rustling in the background, that's my temporary spray booth. The bearing very well greased up, just if we get it free in there, just very well greased up. And I'll grease up on side the race and below. So slide the stem up. Get the race, not the bearings. Bearing down the right way around. The old radius, slide it in. Dust cover on. And then the castle nut. set the tension on this later. This is more just to get it on the bike. I don't want it too much in the front of the bike because it'll make it harder to get the engine in. That's not too bad there anyway. The top handlebar part is acts as the lock nut. There's no little tabs running in this one. So we're going to slide on the top triple clamp. Slide on a little washer. I don't have to line this up just yet because it's it's just more for showing you guys what it's going to look like whenever it's getting finished. I might just slide, slide in the shock absorbers then to show you an idea of what it's going to look like. All the black and a little bit of red at the top. I'm just going to stick in two bits at the back now, the chain adjusters and a little guide for the brake hose. A little bit of blue lock Loctite on this just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. I'll do that. Small amount of grease in these two, just to make sure they fried, slide freely.
You guys are really starting to get there now. You? Well, still a long way to go, but it's starting to look nice with all the black with against the zinc plating the bolts and newly sprayed up parts. It might not be exactly the right order to do things in, but just build the bike whatever way you want. If it gives you a bit more enjoyment in it and lets you see things coming together, don't be afraid to do it. Your bike. Yeah, thankfully that's starting to look really good. Next I'm going to leave these shocks stuck in here and I'll get a better picture let you guys see what it's going to be like then. So there it is with the forks installed. Just to give you a quick idea. Lots of black at the moment, a few little contrasting bits. The red caps at the top. They have some marks on them at the moment because I'm just going to go ahead and change the fork seals. There wasn't really anything wrong with them, just while I'm here I'm going to do it and change the fork oil so I'll get those touched up again. But yeah, that's it. I don't think we're going to do any more this episode. I want to get the engine ready now. I'm going to check the valve clearances on the engine and start getting it stripped down. Get it painted in 2K satin black as well. So we'll get that done in the next episode. If you like this one, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out and helps the channel out. Yeah, so we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.